Welcome back, 2nd of March. Today is launch day. Today is going to be a very, very interesting day. We've literally come to the end of our journey from construction through to launch. Keep watching this one. You're probably, after three years, going to want to see what happens. Take care. You on Tinder again? Uh, yeah. yeah. On Grinder, looking for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're a funny man, eh? You're a funny guy. <laughs> so today, as I slip my shoes off, is a very, very, very hectic day. I don't even have time to actually get the tripod out of my camera bag. It is all frenetic. It is about oh 10:45 in the morning. Now, the final touches, little things like this you've never seen before because the upholstery. These beautiful stools on runners that just allow you to sit at the table. All this vinyl wrap. And this is the upholstery team. The galley complete. Chart table complete. Little touches, small touches like these beautiful little touches little tiny things lockers i've never seen before because they've always been covered up so stern aft cabin starboard side mattresses finally in place headliners lining panels all the woodwork the contrast between the white the dark gray which obviously ties the mattress in with the uh, window surround the light gray and then this oiled ash it's actually a really beautiful combination and then you've got all these storage cupboards here little clunk you'll also see now the little lights are in the panels there opening hatch so we've got two opening patches even in this cabin opening hatch there opening hatch there and then underneath these storage drawers hanging wardrobe there you know what it's beautiful it's about probably 70 percent of the size of our cabin on ruby rose and this is just a small cabin so what we have here this these are the surrounds for outside for the deck cushions outside storage bins all in place it's the first time you're going to see these all in fiberglass very clever nice more storage wow there's a lot of storage there a lot of storage another little hanging robe and that's tankage in here <laughs> Seems like so long ago we were discussing all this with Shane. Storage, storage, storage. Shane was always a big proponent of this. So this is the table. Wow, that's super heavy. Nice. Very attractive things to see that we haven't seen yet they've got a lot of work to see yet so upholstery is going to definitely be going in this morning these backs i was slightly concerned that they were made of wood but obviously they put those in they were temporary these light switches yanmar engine controls the dock bumpers there this was clearly actually you know what it wasn't just our idea it was nikki and Jason Wynn's idea. I'm gonna give Nikki and Jason Wynn credit for us. We discussed this in uh, Tahiti with them about why do catamarans not put dock bumpers on so that when you reverse and you knock the dock, you don't smack the boat or chip your gel coat. Yeah, this was something that Nikki, Jason, Teresa and I worked out in Tahiti many, many moons ago.
So this is the last of the inventory that needs to go on board, toolkit. This will be the backrest cushion. No, I don't know what this is actually. Cushions, cushions, soft furnishings. Wow. Now it's now 8.30 and the carpentry station that was under here, everything has been cleaned out. Everything has been washed. And they're attaching the big ball fenders to the front of the boat. Because today, this is going to be launched. And so finally, once the rig check has been complete, it is time to move the boat. This little guy zips up the mast super damn quickly. Everything is cleaned off. There is a whole amount of jet washing going on. Everything is being brushed down. There's a lot of rags and polish, everything, all the dust off from a couple of months in the factory. And then it is time to finally move the boat. As you can see, the fenders, the docking lines, ball fenders, everything ready to go because this boat is now going from the factory and into the water. So everything has to be prepared. And those ball fenders are probably bigger than the ones that we had in the French Canal. So that really is saying something. Now, finally, just get this drone shot back a little bit and whiz up. The boat is moved into place. We have two forklift trucks and an army of workers all pushing it into place, ready for the truck. The truck and the crane have been here since early morning, so there's a lot going on. And finally, we see the whole boat being very, very carefully maneuvered out from halfway inside the sheds until it's fully out and able to be picked up by the flatbed truck. Truck. Again, this is a complicated operation and there was quite a long meeting beforehand for the whole team to discuss how to do this carefully and safely without one damaging the boat, but more importantly damaging anyone in this operation. So again, everything very, very quickly and carefully taken into place. But again, you can see this, it all looks fairly comical because these blocks look absolutely massive and they're just being pushed around effortlessly by those incredibly strong guys. And then after this, after everything is done, it is time to reverse that truck very, very slowly into position. The crane lifts up the boat, the polystyrene blocks are put in place, and then with time, everything reversed back so that the boat can then be moved to the dock. As you can see here, just everything reversing slowly. And then with the boat finally in place, she is moved probably about two, 300 meters into a position where she can be loaded back onto the crane and then lifted in. But with everything loaded on, it is now time for the boat to be very, very carefully, very carefully driven, probably 200 meters to the dockside. So I'm just reporting back. It is about half past two in the afternoon and we are literally just about to put the boat in the water. I am absolutely wrung out. My shirt is soaking wet. I literally don't know how these people do it. But yeah, the crane's about to turn up, boat's behind me and into the water we go. Then sailing down the river, we're actually launching hole number one this very hour. Pretty cool, no? Now with everything once again in place, the boat is slowly lifted up off the flatbed. Apologies again for the amount of sweat on that shirt of mine. It was a ridiculously hot day and I'd been in that yard for about 14 hours by the time I left. Anyway, the moment of truth. Finally, the boat is lifted very, very, very carefully off the flatbed truck. And as we see, it is slowly lowered into the water. First splashdown ever, C-Win 1370. Probably a seminal moment for everyone that has been following this build, following Seawind. And you know, we know that you, like us, have had to deal with delays, deal with COVID. So for us, it is a really, really big thing. But yet, finally, we are here. The boat is swung over the Saigon River. And then, with a huge amount of care and a huge amount of stress on the part of the Seawind team, she is lowered into the water. Yeah, huge, very exciting. And we feel a huge sigh of relief at watching this. This is uh, Francois. Do you want to say hello, Francois? Hi, guys. Okay, now, Francois, who are you? Uh, French. Yeah, you are French, but okay. He's being modest. He designed this boat. This is this is your design, no? Yeah, me and Romain. And Romain. Hello. hello. Yeah, so these are the two geniuses that designed the, the whole shape and the form. 
Yeah, beautiful boat you designed there, guys. Beautiful boat. And here we are. I'm sunburned, I'm sweaty, but hull 1370, number one, is in the water. Strangely old, I feel strangely queasy almost. I cannot throw off on the maiden visit. And here we have the whole crew that have helped with this, get everything into the water. James is uh, putting the flag halyards together, getting the flags up. The whole thing is just pretty damn epic. And those of you who say that I overuse the word epic, no, I don't think I do. This is epic. And then with the boat in the river, system checks, obviously, as with all, you know, every time you put a boat in the river, we need to check, the seacocks need to be checked, make sure there's no water ingress, whether it's a new boat or an old boat, everything is kind of like fired up, just the checks, make sure there's water, make sure that the engines are running smoothly. And then it's time for a motor down the river, the kind of the maiden sail, the maiden motor of this first hull. I kind of feel sorry for James, the poor guy is so stressed, he's such a diligent worker and like such a perfectionist. So yeah, finally we leave the dock, the slings are dropped from underneath the boat, go back onto the dock side and we head off down the Saigon River. It's only what, five, 10 nautical mile sail. But yeah, it's just amazing to be back on deck on a moving boat after so many months. In fact, we're now talking about over a year in the boatyard, just covered in dust, covered in fiberglass dust. It is absolutely lovely to be back on the water. And I think talking to James, you know, we took a moment on the front trampoline and you could see the relief in his face at just being able to get this boat launched finally. So uh, just a big, a, a big thank you to everyone in this team. We know how hard they have worked from day one to get this boat in the water. And now as we move down the Saigon River to get the boat tied up, Stefan expertly maneuvering this boat out. It's always, for me, very surprising having sailed monohulls, how easily catarans with two big engines just pivot. But yeah, with the boat reversed out, we motored down the Saigon River to tie up at the dock before we take her on sea trials to get her up to the Chang. But that's another day. And having just done that trip, I can give you a sneak preview. It wasn't easy. Four days of absolute hammering before we got into the Chang, but we're all here safely and soundly and this boat can handle it. Anyway, that is our trip down the Saigon River. So after a very, very, very long day, finally, after four years of waiting, boat is in the water sailing and we're pretty damn happy so listen there's going to be a lot more of this and if you enjoyed what you just saw today give us a like give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel because we are about to sailing real soon take care goodbye